What's going on YouTube? This is the SG1 Sports SEC Football Channel, and we are going to give you our top 10 players for the South Carolina Gamecocks heading into 2019. A team that has a chance to be pretty good. Uh, they have a really tough schedule, but if they can find a way to win uh, some close games and get some really good teams, they could wind up having a really special season. Jake Bentley is back at quarterback. They have a lot of key pieces back on defense. Offensively, there are players there. Uh, so again, this is a very intriguing South Carolina team, and we are going to give you our top 10 players starting at number 10, and that is J.C. Horn, a cornerback or nickelback for this defense, one of the leaders in the secondary. Last season, he had 45 tackles, four tackles for loss, two sacks, eight passes defended or pass breakups, however you want to look, whatever you want to call it. No interceptions, so you'd like to see that number uh, go up, maybe see him get get a couple of interceptions this season. And again, not sure if he's going to wind up playing cornerback or nickelback for them, but maybe their best player in the secondary and definitely a leader for them there in, on defense. I've got him at number 10. Moving on to number 9, it's Kier Thomas on the defensive line. Last season, 44 tackles, 4.5 tackles for loss, 1.5 sacks. Uh, very talented defensive lineman. They're going to have a pretty solid defensive line this year. Had a lot of injuries there last season. Uh, so if they can stay healthy, and again, this team has a chance to be one of the better defensive lines, I think, in the SEC. There are some really good ones this year. Uh, but still, that could be a strength of this defense with some key guys back and some veterans there on the defensive line. Also, some young players. Uh, one of those we'll get to in just a second. But first, we go back to the offensive side, and it's Rico Dowdle at running back. And they've got several running backs uh, that will contribute. It's tough, really, to say who's going to be the, the main guy, the guy that stands out. I'm going with Dowdle, though. Uh, last season, 654 rushing yards, 133 yards receiving, so he uh, helped out there as well. Had five total touchdowns. Uh, he's had some injuries in his career, but uh, he's had has a lot of experience. I think he's played three. I believe he played as a true freshman. So he's got three years of experience there at South Carolina at the running back position. I think he could be ready to really break out in 2019. We talked about a youngster on the defensive line. He's at number seven. It is Zach Pickens. He was the number eight recruit in the country, according to 24-7 Sports. Uh, we're talking about a real difference maker, a guy that uh, should make an immediate impact on this defense and uh, maybe one of the best freshman in the country and again there are a lot there's a lot of guys on this defensive line they're gonna have a lot of depth and uh, I think that could bode well for them especially when you get late in the game and when you can keep fresh bodies in there but we go back to offense for number six don't really hear much about Shai Smith uh, the wide receiver here for South Carolina of course Debo Samuel is gone and and yes Brian Edwards probably their leading receiver coming back uh, their best receiver on this team but Shai Smith is not that far behind again 45 catches, 673 yards for them last year, four touchdowns. This passing attack really took it up a notch last season, and if uh, Jake Bentley can take that next step, they still have talent at these receiver positions, and they could have a very, very good offense in 2019. Speaking of Jake Bentley, he comes in at number five. You look at his numbers last year, 3,171 passing yards, 27 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, You'd like to maybe clean the interceptions up just a little bit, but that's not too bad. A 62% completion percentage, that's something else that I think he can improve on. Uh, but this is his time. He's been there for since he was a true freshman and playing since he was a freshman. And uh, this is the year I think he has to take that next step. He has to be a leader for this offense, take his game to another level, and become one of the better quarterbacks in the country and one of the better quarterbacks for sure in the SEC. At number four, we're going with DJ Wanham. He was injured most of last season, so I didn't use his stats from 2018. Instead, we're going back to 2017. In that year, he had 57 tackles, 13 tackles for loss, three sacks. Uh, so he was definitely a playmaker, making tackles behind the line of scrimmage. And again, we talk about this defense, uh, this defensive line, this front seven. They appear to be set to have a very good season on that side of the ball. And I think DJ Wanham will be a big part of that at number four. But at number three, we're actually gonna go with Javen Kinlaw. Last season, 30 tackles, nine tackles for loss, four sacks, two forced fumbles. So he created a couple of turnovers, or not necessarily turnovers, but because I don't know who recovered those fumbles, but 
Uh, he made plays in the backfield, four sacks, uh, 30 tackles. So a very, very solid player for them on the defensive line. I think he's their best defensive lineman, and he will have to be a leader for them uh, on that defensive line. And I, I don't know how many, that's like five guys on the defense, four or five guys on the defensive line in this list. That tells you how good they could be there. But at number two, we're going to the wide receiver position, and there is Brian Edwards. Shai Smith is going, it was good last year. Brian Edwards was even better, and he had 846 receiving yards, 15.4 yards per catch. That should be uh, YPR, really, yards per reception. He had seven touchdowns as well. Uh, I think he will definitely be the go-to guy. Uh, you, you pair him with Shai Smith, and you've got a very, very good combination of wide receivers. And again, that's why I think the South Carolina offense could be really good. But it's another defensive player that we have at number one. That is TJ Brunson. Last season, 106 tackles. Really was the leader for this defense. I think he will be again in 2019. 10 tackles for loss, four sacks. He had a forced fumble. Uh, so he also was making plays in the backfield. I think he's the best player on this defense. I think he's the best player on this team. And that's why we have him ranked number one. I'd like to get your thoughts, especially the South Carolina fans, because you know this team better than anyone else. Uh, would you change any of these rankings? Who would you move up? Who would you move down? Did I leave off a guy that you think is going to have a breakout year? Well, let me know down in the comments below. We may take the weekend off and then wrap this thing up on Monday and Tuesday with Tennessee and Vanderbilt. Uh, if you missed any of the other videos, we have ranked the top 10 players on every other SEC school. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports SEC Football Channel.